Pedro, que bom é. <risos> Isso é smoking, mas grave. Sério, este Graham, eu sei que você é um Graham, não quer dizer não. So I sang my way through it. <laughs> you didn't have yours. You don't either. We appreciate the, y'all asking us to come and stuff. I need to get the song. The blind lead the blind. Just like uh, Brother John, we got that old serpent by the tail. So. <laughs> he was telling me, he said he went down into the chicken house and a big old snake was in there. And he, oh, goodness. That was Just had a quick, quick notion, he grabbed that old tail. Uh, Snake by the tail, he said. No, I grabbed him by the head. By the head. And, I, and when I grabbed him by the head, I, I didn't get him up close enough. I was like, ah! <laughs> so he wrapped he around his arm and all that. Like, yeah, wrapped right around my arm. I, I, he I takes said, a, oh, run. <laughs> He just don't take them scriptures that literally, uh, literally, literally he takes them. He got brave enough to pick me up. He takes them scriptures to the heart where it says, You'll take up serpents and they won't hurt you. <laughs> you might have hurt, but you still would have them off. You should have put them in the box and brought them to the service, would you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but uh, I was looking through some stuff uh, today and stuff and uh, so to get uh, a message for tonight and stuff. And I uh, appreciate Shannon uh, playing that uh, music and stuff. Because that's yes, part of it, too. It. We, we love being able to minister in, in, in the in word as well as in music. And stuff, and, uh, and she, God's really blessing her and stuff. Uh, but uh, for the sermon, I was just sitting there thinking about it, and I said, for a catchphrase, it was, well, uh, watch what you say. Someone is listening. It's not just God that's listening, but the world's listening. They want to know what's going on. And they're looking for things that's going to be transforming to them, that's going to change their lives. You know, Because that's why you got all these here psychologists and all this here stuff that people are paying millions of dollars to go to see these people and all they have to do is buy a Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, just find the Bible, find the Word, and the Word will do the transforming. You know, they, but they'd rather go the hard way because that's how, how it says man mm -hmm. is. You know, you'd rather do it the hard way and stuff. And uh, uh, Scripture to be out of Matthew 13. Uh, the, uh, verses 34 through 43 and stuff. Uh, I want to turn there and stuff. It, it's, it, Jesus has, had been talking in parables and the kingdom parables, and because that's how you know there was a lot of people that was coming around him, and you know he had all these people that was following after him and stuff. But people that, that had the Sanhedrin and all them, they was trying to trip him up. They figure, well, if we trip him up, people will quit, quit following him. People will quit listening to him. They won't, they won't believe him, you know, and stuff. And, and you know, that's how they, all this here different doctrines, people are getting so, so uh, stagnant and cold to the word because they're getting all kinds of mixed word out here today in the world. You know, the churches, and that's coming from the church and stuff. But in that... Verse uh, 13, uh, I mean, chapter 13 of Matthew, the uh, uh, 34th verse, it says, All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in the parables, and without a parable spake he not unto them. Because he didn't want it, he didn't want it to be him. He was, he was speaking for, as the Father would speak to, the, to his children uh, and stuff. And he said that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, and I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. And Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parables of the true tares of the field. And he answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man. The field is the, is the world. And the good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. And the enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. 
and therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so it shall be in the end of this at the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and cast and shall cast them in a into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of his Father, who hath ears to hear. Let him hear. And that's what it's about, hearing. Having that spiritual ear to hear what God has for the church and God has for those that would listen for what his spirit has to say and draw to him and stuff. And you know, that's, that's what it's pretty much about, having that spiritual ear. Because the ears of the wicked are listening for something life changing, like I said earlier. You know, they want something. They're looking for, you know, because that's why they're going through all these here different trends and fads, and they, you know, things are coming back smaller cars. Yeah, you know, for a long time through the 40s and the 50s and stuff, it was all about having the big Lincoln. You know, now, now you can't afford the big Lincoln. <laughs> You can't afford to gas that for that big league. And so now it's all the compact cars and all, everything's small. You know, they'd rather have something two-door. You know, four doors, it just it burns up too much gas. And, you know, you don't want a, too big a crowd to go on with you, you know. <laughs> and so it's all small. Everything's getting compact. Computers used to be a whole room to make one computer. Now you got to tote one on, on your side. It's called a phone. You know what I'm saying? You know, cell so, you know, all you had was a house phone and you had a party line. That's why I was telling once before, you know, we had, you know, half our block was on, on a party line. You had, to, you, had to get, you had to get in line. Sometimes it might be 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning before you get to use the phone. Like, what is Mr. Bud? I know you probably had a party. Y'all had a party line, didn't you? Yeah. And baby parties. <laughs> yeah. They called it a party line because sometimes it'd be 3 and you, you'd be on there and all of a sudden, uh, somebody, your neighbor would be getting into conversation like, this is not this is not your party at this time. This is my party. <laughs> Y'all had y'all's party earlier, <laughs> you know. But anyway, just the way technology is, is is advancing, and you know, and stuff, and you know, they now the, these little cell phones. It's, you don't even have to you don't even have to turn it on now. You just look at they got a new one where you just look on the side and everything's on the side of it. It's called the edge, you know. <laughs> you know it's sooner or later it's, and, and stuff is going it's, you know, it, it's going to do everything for you. You know, the yeah. other phone back then, a uh, party line phone, but you still had to get permission to mom and daddy to use it. Yeah. <laughs> you it. Yeah, because yeah, cause if you get, because if they reported you, they come out, they cut your phone off. Yeah. <laughs> if you misused the phone, they would cut it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and stuff. And, but, and like point two said, the ears of the church should be uh, 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 tuned to the voice of the Spirit of God calling together those that are scattered and those that are lost. Because it's a scattered, you know, the Jews that, 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 that God said he, he gathered the remnant of Jews that, that believe him. Not that, you know, the, the Jews that are, are looking for Messiah, but the ones that are the Messianic Jews, the ones that believe Christ died for their sins. And you know that are born again. There's born again Jews out there, and I, all of them, you know, lost and stuff. And so, and that's and, and those are lost loved ones that you mentioned in the prayer request. You know, God is going. He's wanting uh, us to be that example around them, so that they will want to hear what the Word has for them, or, or have a word for them. And it says we're supposed to be the watchmen in the end time. Uh, move of God to get all that that have an ear to hear that uh, for that appointed place with God's Spirit because it's about getting in a place where you know sometimes hard times to bring you to that spot where where God can you know transform your life you know and stuff even after you're a Christian there's you know things we go through that that move our faith our faith is moved by by circumstances that come that happen around us you know. You know, when you get deep in, 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 uh, uh, into uh, problems, financial, uh, physical problems.
problems and health problems and stuff, they can bring you closer to the to to God and, and to God's leading. You know, because then it stirs our faith. It makes you believe. It makes you sit, step out into faith. And Amen. Because it says, uh, you know, those things are follow those that believe. It's all about believing. I watch uh, some of the YouTube stuff on on uh, on Jack Cole and uh, and, uh, and A. A. Allen and stuff in the meetings they have. I just love watching some of that old, old, old stuff, those old rules and stuff. And because those those men of God were really touched by God, and they had a they had a true message from God, and that was uh, believing God for all things. Well, believe in God for all things. You know, just like she, they have to believe Him for that house. You know, and stuff. And you know, God gives us favor, but that favor is just to stir our faith. You know, and so others can see it. You know. Uh, and, and, and be stirred as well, you know, because that's the, the heart of man. You know, if, if you got uh, uh, a brand new car, so everybody else on the block wants one too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way that thing is. You know, you know, uh, they got to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> but um, so, it, uh, point four: if we uh, allow God to uh, uh, reign and, and to to pull back on, on the bits. Uh, the, the kingdom of God would grow in leaps and, and bounds. And, and I would like to just flip over to Psalms 33 9. 33 9, it talks about, it says, uh, Be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with a bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. You know, because that's what it is. Sometimes God has to just pull back that rein because we get all all headstrong and, and go off and do things that He's not asked us to do. You know, get into situations with our mouth by saying, by promising people the wrong things and, and getting mixed up with the wrong things or, 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 or you know, that stuff. And so, or being around others and saying things that's hurtful. You know, or not saying something when we should say something. Amen. You know, Amen. Being the silent party instead of being the, the voice of God. Amen. You know, Praise God Lord. wants us to be His voice. It's not just His hands and His feet, but we His right. voice as well. You know, and, and, and carrying the word because that's how, how we're supposed to be uh, uh, out there doing all these things and stuff. And uh, so, uh, uh, point five says Christ wants us to be uh, 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 to look on and heard it in His. Uh, uh, and the Father's image and glorious honor. In other words, we represent God. Amen. We're ambassadors to Christ. Amen. So if we're ambassadors to Christ, you know, when an ambassador comes to to a country, he's honored because he's bringing the, he's bringing all you know when when Carrie and uh, 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 Senator Kerry, Congressman Kerry, and uh, uh, Obama's different ones. The, Hillary Clinton and all these, when they go to these other countries, you know, they're honored because they represent our country. You, it's the one thing if you go to just represent it, Gaston, but when you represent the country, you know, and stuff, and, and it, it, it's, it's prestigious and it's, it's, it, 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 it's a, a high honor and stuff. And, you know, when we're out here in the world, we represent Christ and the way. Uh, uh, the world should perceive how Christ would look and how, how, how God uh, 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 is, is kingdom is, 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 is glorified by through us and stuff. And uh, point six is that we have to be aware of the traps and snares and the workings of the devil. Stand in a straight course, not swaying or falling into the ditch. Because that's what it said when you're out there traveling along with the wrong ones. It says the blind will lead the others into the ditch. That's right. You know, so we have to stay away from those things that, that's going to lead us astray and lead us uh, uh, in the wrong paths, you know, or, and, and to the wrong people. You know, because sometimes, just like I say, this mouth can just get you all in a, in a, in a thing, you know. Amen. Uh, you can say some things that's very hurtful to people. You can right. cause yourself to, you're on your job, you say the wrong thing, you, you can be a looking for more employment somewhere. <laughs> yeah. This guy you don't like your boss, keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pray for your boss. Yeah. But you better keep it to yourself. 
Did you don't know? Because like we always said, the floors have have ears, the walls have ears. <laughs> you don't ever know who's here, who's hearing you. You know, you be on one aisle, they on the other aisle. You know, you don't know who's hearing you. So, amen. and you shouldn't have to worry about that. What's coming out of our mouth should be amen and 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 and, uh, and, 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 and yes or no. You know, amen. That's what he says. Our communication should be should be uh, censored, just like they have censors mm -hmm. on your TV. Sensors on things and where where you know certain you you so you don't see certain things on a block so you block things you know you should be blocking things from coming out of our mouth when we say you know you know I just don't like the way they run things down there <laughs> man you know <laughs> you no know, uh, that pastor he can just get on my nerves <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you know, and because it will get back around. You know, <laughs> church church people can be the most the most hurtful. That's a, that statistics can uh, show you, and they and there's there's all kinds of polls and what they took where where there's more people hurt each other through churches than they do it just in the regular society. You know, so we have to be careful how we conduct ourselves and, and stuff. And I don't know why well, God is leading this like this here, but that's that's what it's about. You know, how we how we uh, how we uh, present it to the world. And I, I did, I it should be a full house here. That's what the night. Amen. You know, Amen. godly counsel with wisdom from the Spirit of the Lord smooths out those bumps in the road of life. You know, because that road can't get bumpy, you know. Amen. And stuff, but we, Amen. He, he's, he's watching us to see if we're going to cower down or, or we're going to go push forward and, 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 go, uh, and, and, and worship Him. And, you, and, and and honor him by by you know sometimes like I said before just sucking it up and keep on going you know because we're gonna have bad days you know like I said uh, told John where where somebody dumped my bank account you know somebody tapped my card and stuff and I always told my wife but like you know they only doing that to people with like big money yeah I get laid somebody thought I had big money. <laughs> <laughs> They tap me out and, and stuff, and so I've been going through something with that, trying to trying to straighten that part out and stuff, you know. But you know, what the devil made uh, meant for bad, God meant it for good, you know. Uh, the bank, the bank honored us, and we actually got a free movie, a free movie, passing to the movies, and we went to the movies, and that's how I found out my car had been tapped. And the people <laughs> in the movie they 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 let us in at half price, and then gave us half price on the popcorn and everything. <laughs> You know why? Because I'm a child of God. Me, We're a child of God. Amen. He saved, I'm saved, and God, yep. God gave us favor. That's and right. The devil thought it was that he was going, he was going to get a big laugh out of it. God got, the, God got the last laugh, Amen. and he's going to get the last laugh. That's what it says. Yes. You know, those terrors and stuff, they're going to be burned up. Yes. You know, the righteous. That's what. See, you can't say. You know, I wish bad. You can't wish bad on someone. You know, they they shouldn't get away with this or that. You can't say all that because God's a righteous judge. Everything's going to be judged one day. Amen. You know, and he, and then it's going to be a, a, where they're going to be burned up and and, and stuff, and it's, it's going to be the said no more tears in hell. Come and on, stuff. And, you Come know, on. So I just want to put that a little bit Amen. together and stuff, and you know, uh, just uh, of course I got a little joke here too. I think I don't believe I've said this one before and stuff, but uh, this one's called meeting of the board. <laughs> said the past said a pastor said there will be a meeting of the board immediately after services. And so so the, uh, the so the church the board gathered at the back of the church after the church service was over. So the pastor started to the back of the church and he sees a visitor who had never attended church there before. All of a sudden he was back there and he was leaning against a wall. And so the pastor walks up to the guy, he goes, My friend Said the pastor, didn't you understand that this is a meeting of the board? And the guy goes, yes, sir. Uh, said the visitor, and after the, that sermon today, I suppose I'm just as bored as everyone that, who came to this meeting. <laughs>
stuff, but you know, uh, like I said, we appreciate it. And, you know, just put, being able to put a little something together for us tonight and stuff, you know. Uh, and y'all having us here and, and stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, if anybody wants prayer, you know, we can all get praying and we can pray as well and stuff. But, uh, Lord God, like I say, Lord God, we just want to uh, be those, those ears for you, Lord God, and, and, and spread your word, Lord God, and, and, and be able to touch someone tonight, Lord God, as well, that's out there, Lord God, allow us not just to stay here, Lord, to go out, but to let it go out into the highways and the byways, Lord God, and, and, and to those hearts of those, Lord God, that are lost, and Lord God, as we, and, and watch over us as, as well as the church, Lord God, and bring your church into a closer walk with you, Lord God. And we just praise you and glorify you, Lord God, as we go in our, as to our workplaces during the week, Lord God. For this is the midweek, Lord God, and strengthen us, Lord God. And then we just thank you, Lord God, for, for all things in Christ's mighty name.